We're going worm hunting again. This time it's the red one, Grey Lorm. The third worm. A third worm has hit the towers, and we're going to be taking him on solo. I think I'm finally set up enough to do this boss fight, but a lot of this really determines on where the storm is because we can't even fight him until the storm takes over the area where we're supposed to fight him at. So normally the location is like right over here. I'm not seeing all the ammo crates for it though. Maybe it's this one. I see two ammo caches here. I don't think that's normal. But either way, the storm being right here is perfect because we only have the 15 minutes of the storm expanding to fight him, and it's probably not going to get to our spot for a few minutes so i think we got a good storm spawn for this and also part of my setup here is that i got a nice little tombstone full of a good amount of money and some pretty decent items that we can use but i am uh really scared about doing this boss fight because every guide i watched i watched uh mr dalek jd's video and insomnia virus so shout out to both of them with uh their guides on how to do this and in both of them they said that you needed the golden armor plates and luckily i do have them for my only dark aether run that i've done but i don't got the schematic for it i just have this one acquisition for us. We got to make this run count. All right, hold up. Let me jump in here real quick. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of yapping. So let me sum this up. I went to grab my tombstone to get the stuff that I had stashed. And we made our way over to the military base to get started on this Easter egg. At the base, there's a map showing the locations of the four seismic towers that we have to interact with to give us the USB drives that we need to start the boss fight. And not surprisingly, it took me a bit to find all the USB. So by the time we got to the boss fight area, the storm was already coming in. All right. The Aether Storm is now approaching. Now the second it starts touching these, we need to throw our USBs in. Zombies, I need you to get away from me so I can start this up. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. And this should be our last one right here. Perfect. Come on. Show yourself, worm. Oh, here it comes. All the zombies are running towards the middle, too. There we go. What's going on, worm? Eat a molly. Oh, wait. We got to really pay attention. Make sure those orbs do not get us. I think I shot a few of them, but I don't know where the rest went. Holy shit. This is already insane. Okay, um, energy mine on the zombies. Get them away from me. Let's refill our ammo and our gas mask. We get to shooting. And he's underground. Oh, shit. I didn't realize the orbs were out. There we go. Um, how do I get him out of the ground? I think they said just to shoot at the ground and that might do it. There we go. We're already doing like a little bit of damage to him. It's not terrible. Let's keep making sure we're throwing our experimental gas on him, even though that was nerfed. It still does a decent amount. And we're about to go down. No, we're not. We're fighting. Fighting for our fucking lives. Holy shit, this is tough. No wonder they want you to do this with a group of like 14 people. I don't even know how to keep track of what I'm doing. There's just so many zombies. And he's back underground. Bastard. Get back up here. Oh, no, he's got me. That's all right, though. We know the method. Shoot and spam the parachute. Clean. We just need to keep laying the hammer on him. I can't even see shit. Oh, don't laser me. We don't need that. It's not looking good. We only got six minutes left. Come on, we can do this. Oh, he's just eating these bullets, though. This is stressful as shit. Come on, we don't even have like a quarter of his health gone. Well, I guess a quarter. Maybe like a third, actually. We just got the notification for the final exfil. Oh, this is scary. Oh, not as scary as that laser, though. Almost a half health. With only two minutes left. Fuck. We just need to lay the hammer on him now. And I'm getting like no audio cues from him. So I don't even know when he's sending out his little orbies. I'd much rather fight the, the purple worm. I feel like I can take out Gorm Granat so much easier. He's a cakewalk compared to this. We got him to half health. If in some sort of miracle we can take him out here, that'd be fucking sweet. Oh, I don't like that the timer's showing up now. Oh, I think it's Jover. 15 seconds. There's no way. Oh, and I think Final Axfil is leaving now. This is so unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Eat me too. Eliminated. Sweet. Fuck, dude. That's tough. You really cannot stop shooting at him. Any moment where you're not shooting at him is just time ticking by. All right. Well, we, we have a warm up round under our belts. Let's try that again. All right, worm. I didn't hear no bell. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It took me a long time to get reset up for this fight. As you can see here, I have the dog bone and the golden plate acquisition. I did a few uh, dark aether runs, ended up getting an elder sigil, and I got lucky enough to get those two schematics. I almost had all three, but I fumbled on the last escort mission, but I went ahead and streamed those. And during that stream, I was looking for a golden or a legendary aether tool that entire time. I, I was playing for like maybe 12 hours and I could not find one. It was actually driving me crazy, so I went to my discord to ask if anybody 
actually have one and luckily the boy Fidesy had one. He actually gave me two of them. So shout out to Fidesy, you're my hero. Since we still have six and a half minutes until the Aether Storm even starts moving, can I bitch about the Aether Tools a little bit? I want to bitch about the Aether Tools a little bit. It is damn near impossible to find a legendary Aether Tool on your own. And I have done every single method out there. I've done contracts in every single tier zone. I've done basically all the contracts. I've taken down maybe like 40 ethereal orbs or harvester orbs whatever you want to call them the highest one i got was epic and i only got that like three or four times i even tried the strat of like grabbing a legendary wall buy from the tier three zone and going and paying my respects to see if it'll give me an aether tool and the highest one i ever got out of that was epic i just hate that the only way to get your weapon to legendary is to have a schematic that drops from probably beating this boss fight or doing some like dark aether shit which you can only use once per day i might add or just getting lucky and getting it in a drop somewhere some way it is just absolutely ridiculous i know there's two free ones in the battle pass but i use both of those for the first worm boss fight or the the first one in act four the second worm, not knowing that there was going to be a whole nother one to fight. So it was just super frustrating. I spent hours upon hours just playing this, looking for one item, and I could not find it regardless of how hard I tried. I needed to lean on the kindness of somebody else to drop me one. Otherwise, I probably would have went insane. All right, our storm is here. Let's call on our dog. We got Grumble Muffin. About to be putting in work today. All right, worm, you're fucked this time. I got the experience under my belt. And me with knowledge is truly dangerous because I am stupid as shit. Actually, maybe I should have waited to call the dog in because all the zombies here are going to go towards the middle once that worm is about to spawn and he might immediately take out Grumble Muffin. Don't you go there. Come back. Grumble Muffin. Get the fuck back here, dude. Oh, he's toast. But we're already doing some decent damage against him. Have some of these. Oh, you're done this time. 100%. There's no chance of survival for you. Just gotta keep peppering him with damage. Oh, and he's doing the same to me. That's fine, though. We still have a few self-revives. No big deal. All right, he's at half health, exactly. We still got three minutes. Final x is just now showing up. Come on, we can do this. We didn't go through all this effort, all this pain just to lose. No, not another down. Come on. I don't even know how many self-revives we have left. I don't even want to check. It's none. Oh, now the timer's showing up. This is uh, very not good. We got less than a minute left. Oh, come on. Let me out. 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 Oh, this might be chalked. Come on, dude. Oh, he's so low health too. Unless we take him out right here. No, that's it. That's game. Damn, dude. We got him so low too. What do I gotta do? What's a man to do? It's still kind of going on though with no time left. Are you just letting me fight this out? Nope, guess not. How the fuck am I gonna beat this guy? That's a question I would continue to ask myself as I got geared up to head in for another attempt. And it went like this. Come on. No, don't you go underground. Oh, this is fucking unfortunate as shit. Get back up here. There you go. Oh, he's so fucking close. Pause. Oh, I don't think we're getting it. Damn it, Sam, we're out of self-revives. Fuck you, so close. <sighs> this is ass. This didn't kill my determination, so I hopped in again and waited the entire 45 minutes for the storm to come in. And this is how COD rewarded me. You gotta be fucking kidding me, no way. I set all the way up for it, the storm's on its way in and we get a checking for update. I just sat here for 45 minutes in silence waiting for the boss fight, just for this. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this game, dude. At this point, I was completely out of legendary aether tools and I had no golden armor plates, but I was saved by the kindness of hells in purple. They dropped me a bunch of these items just so I could attempt to kill the red worm fuck, just for me to do this in the next attempt. I just realized I don't have a fucking gas mask, did it break? Are you kidding me? No way that's going to be the reason why we lose. Wow. Something's got to go wrong in each of these fights. Yeah, we can't regen health fast enough. This is impossible. Why do I do this to myself? In some kind of beautiful dance of life and art, the lack of oxygen to my actual brain led me to forget to repair my gas mask so that my operator could have a lack of oxygen as well. Meaning I would choke the boss fight in more ways than one. I went to try again, but since I couldn't beat it with the Holger or the WSP swarms, I decided to try it with the Lockwood 680. And I did way less damage this time around, losing to the worm again. I was completely out of items to attempt this boss fight again, so I hit up the Make-A-Wish hotline and Silky answered the call. And before I could even get out of the game or set up Tombstone with the stuff he dropped for me, 
I crashed. So I hit up the emergency Make-A-Wish hotline and Lego and Craig blessed me with a crazy amount of points and items so I can continue to fight the red fuck. And in the next game, it looked like my luck had finally turned around and I had the storm spawn right on top of the boss fight arena. I also preemptively stowed away the USBs needed to start the boss fight in my tombstone. So I grabbed those and rushed over to the area to see if I could start it up. Now, normally we have to wait for the storm to move to get over it, but we're spawning with the storm on it. Can we start it? Nope. And of course, it didn't work. Whatever. No big deal. I still had a great spawn and all I had to do was wait for the game time to run out so I could fight it. While waiting around for the storm, I found the blood burner bike and dicked around on it looking sick as fuck. That's hard. And while I was messing around with it, I found a weird glitch. What the fuck? Dude. What's happening? If I go backwards. Yeah, anytime I move, they'll chase me, but I stay still, they don't. It's like red light, green light. Red light. Green light. Let's get these guys from the storm over here and see if they stop. Yeah. Well, work with the disciple. It already looks like he's starting to play along. Let's see. Stop. Everybody stops. This bike's OP. This is sick. What's up, disciple? You just gonna circle me like a shark? This is hard as fuck. This is like a music video. Oh shit! Oh shit! Dude, he was riding my slipstream. After fucking around with the bike for a bit, I had killed enough time to start up the fight. And I was feeling pretty confident going into this one because with this storm spawn, we should have plenty of time to take the worm out. Emphasis on should. Two minutes into the fight, it went underground and the fucking health bar disappeared. He completely disappeared. There's no health bar. There's no nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? I waited around an hour just for this bullshit. How many times is this game going to fuck me over? Are you serious? No health bar, no nothing. Where are you? The zombie spawns completely stopped too. I can't win, dude. I had the perfect spawn and everything. And they said, guess what? You just wait an hour? That sucks. It's, it's fucking 7 a.m. I've been up all night trying to do this. And every single time I hop on here, COD tells me my time is not worth it. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. After waiting around for a few minutes with nothing happening, I left the arena expecting to take myself out so I could save what I had in my tombstone. I even unequipped my self-revive. And I don't know why, but I still held out a little bit of hope and went back to the arena to see if leaving and coming back would respawn him. Surprisingly, his health bar reappeared, with full health by the way, but he was still nowhere to be found. I started walking away again and this happened. No way, he's showing up over here, are you kidding me? He just disappeared for fucking, how, how long? How long was that? Five minutes? What the fuck is wrong with this game, dude? Oh, and there's all the spawns to come with it. I can't even get back to that ammo thing in time. Why don't you follow me over here, dickhead? Can I get back to the ammo before my gas mask breaks? Nope. Nice. Maybe go searching for you. Just for this bullshit. This game's full of shit. And I didn't put my self-revive back on anyways. What happens if I just close out of the game? Am I still got my old tombstone? Let's find out. So with close to 11 minutes left in the game, it went underground and completely disappeared for almost four and a half minutes. And the cheating fuck took me out, but luckily, right at the end, I had the idea to alt F for my game. So everything I had in my tombstone earlier would be right back where I left it. But at this point, I was pretty fed up with fighting this thing solo, and I had spent the last few days and I don't even know how many hours trying to beat it on my own. But I wasn't gonna let the bastard live, so I got Silky and left to come help me euthanize this cocksucker. And when the fight started, we were actually shredding him. Since there was three of us, we could place down a bunch of sentry turrets, and we were just lighting his ass up. Oh, we're actually gonna fuck him up unless he disappears into the fucking ground again <laughs> oh, oh shit i somehow went to third person i don't even know how wait, i did wait, it wait, 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 wait. oh my screen is crooked you when what you land it'll, it'll be fine it'll start going no, no, back it's to normal still crooked, dude. it'll start going back to normal oh oh i just did that was crazy dude i thought i was gonna play this shit in landscape the whole time Oh no. I'm so weak. Gas no! <gasps> I agree. Where'd you crashed? No. No. I'm so sick of this, dude. Do you see this curse? He was dead. Dead to fucking rights. Wow, oh. we did it. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> That's so fucked shit, up. Dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. Con had another fuck you hitting up its sleeve for me. It's actually insane how hard I got cucked right here because less than two minutes later, they beat it. Fortunately, they were nice enough to play another game with me so we could try to take it out again. My last self froze. Cool. Yeah, we're still cooking them. Not too much more. Refill your shit. I ain't got shit to refill. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> Eat a dick, you stupid Oh, word. come on. Let's fucking go. No! Finally, dude. Holy shit. Oh, VR 11. Flawless. I'm getting out of here now. Fucking booger came out of my nose watching you get fucking tossed by the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, it's finally <laughs> done, dude. He spit me out and just threw me straight. I just watched you get tossed like a rag doll. <laughs> so after I don't even know how long, the worm is finally dead. We might not have been able to do it solo, but I, I, I think you guys can understand why I stopped trying it. But I also want to apologize for the lack of uploads. I was not expecting this to take as long as it did. But anyways, I'm out of here. Fuck the crashes and fuck the worm. I'll see you guys next time. Later.